All right, so in the last problem, what we did was we rewrote this as one radical. Right? Yes? Yes? And ladies and gentlemen, what, I mean, what happened with rewriting that as one radical was, you know, that was not, that simplified everything and then we could, we are done. The problem with this is um, when we're doing it this way, the x's, yes, they divide out, but does 3 divide into 2? No. So at least everybody hopefully understands that these x's divide out, correct? All right. Now for understanding, though, I'm going to rewrite this back as the fourth root of 2 divided by the fourth root of um, 3. So I'm going to break it back up because 3 doesn't divide into 2, OK? All right. Here's the identity element that is so important. The nth root of a raised to the nth power equals a. I keep on. A would be like your 2, and n would be like your powers. Right? So in this case, actually, let's go and put it up here. Let's put them in different colors. Maybe that will help you guys out. All right, so if everybody looks at this, um, Tyler, what I did is I rewrote, I rewrote the n in red. So you guys can really kind of see um, a difference with that. Now, to be able to get the identity element, first of all, we understand that the 3 doesn't divide into 2. So if you guys remember, when we were doing these problems with complex numbers, we didn't like dividing by complex numbers. Um, well, it's the same case with dividing by irrational numbers. We don't want to divide by irrational numbers. So since, um, since Eliza doesn't divide into it, what we can do is we can simplify it by removing the radical in the denominator. So the last problem, the numbers divided into it, right? And we're good. This problem, the denominator doesn't fully divide into the numerator. So we can't actually fully divide the problem, but what we can do is simplify it. And the way that they, we call it simplified is if we can remove the denominator here. Okay. So for this identity element to work, I have my 3 raised to a power of 1. Ailey, what power does my 3 need to be raised to for us to apply the identity element? 4, right? So therefore, what do I need to multiply 3 to the first power to to get 3 to the fourth? Which would be, Keith? What would be 3 to what power would give me, what do I need to multiply this by? 3 cubed. Remember last class period we did the rules of exponents? If you have x to the m times x to the n, that equals x to the m plus n. 3 to the first power times 3 to the third power equals 3 to the fourth power. Because that's not what the rule of, of exponent says. x to the m times x to the n equals x to the m plus n. 3 to the first times 3 cubed equals 3 to the fourth. OK? That's, what the, that's basically the rules. The only difference in with the rules is instead of x's, you're having some variables. Now, here comes the problem, though, with looking at this. Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Here comes the problem. Can you do 3 times the square root of 3? Does that equal square root of 9? No, it doesn't. And if you guys don't believe me, do this. 4 times square root of 4. That does not equal the square root of 16, right? Because what's the square root of 4? 2. 4 times 2 equals 8, right? The square root of 16 is equal to 4. So do you guys see how that doesn't work? So Kelsey, what I, the main important thing to be able to multiply this, what we have to do is we have to have this under a root. And we have to have it under the fourth root. So to finish this problem, to rationalize the denominator,
what we simply need to do is multiply this um, by the same root. And again, the, I got this value because this is what's going to make my identity element in the denominator. Usually, I don't like to actually tell you what the, uh, figure out what the number is. We know 3 cubed is what, 27, right? Rather than writing it as 27, I like to keep it like this, again, so you can see using the rules of exponents. So when I multiply this across, I have the fourth root of 2. Now here, I'll simplify it, times 27, all over the fourth root of 3 to the fourth power. So now, we have the fourth root of 3 to the fourth power. Do you guys see how now I can get rid of my root? Because what's, what's the fourth root of 3 to the fourth power? Three. Just 3. Yep, so my final answer is going to equal the fourth root of 54 divided by 3. Now I would go ahead and check um, I would go and check my uh, quartic numbers and see uh, my numbers I wrote to the fourth power, see if they divide into 54. Yes. You mean divide the 3 into that? Just like I said, you can't multiply a number outside of radical, inside of radical. You can't multiply a number outside, of, or you can't divide a number outside of radical into a radical. For instance, square root of 4 over 4. You're telling me that that is the same thing as the square root of 1, which is 1. Correct? But in reality, let's do the math separately. The square root of 4 is 2 over 4. That answer is 1 half. So doing it this doesn't work, correct? So just remember, you can never divide a number or multiply a number outside of a radical into a radical. So the 3 is outside the radical. Right, it doesn't, it's not inside a radical. Any last questions? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in in honor of having